Hey, welcome back to the most innovative shipping container channel on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and every other social media platform. Uh, we have a double door 40 foot here, and we had a pretty unique problem with it. And uh, of course, we're in Kansas and the wind is blowing my phone around. Um, but the back doors wouldn't really open. So the double door containers come with like a uh, strap on the top and bottom because the shipping container uh, companies don't use the back door when they ship freight over from China. So we have to remove the straps and this container was sitting on kind of a hill and the door wouldn't open. And so we removed the straps. I moved it off the hill, put it on the ground. And then one of my guys just closed the door like it was no problem. And so we sent it off to the customer, which luckily uh, the customer is only like five miles away. And he says, hey, the door won't open. So I went over there and it was like an absolute nightmare. I couldn't get the door open. Uh, it was like stuck. Um, so I want to show you guys what was going on with this container and with a new container This is a really uncommon issue. I had not seen it before But I'll kind of show you what we were dealing with and what was going on. So let's uh, flip around and take a look Okay, uh, hopefully the audio is okay on this because like I said the wind is absolutely terrible uh, The Kansas has wind all the time and it's terrible so um, this is for us this is the front of the container to a shipping company uh, because this gooseneck uh, metal provision they weld in the back of 40 foot containers um, but for us this is the technically the back of the container normally because if this were to be a 40 foot single door this uh, this would be the door with the end without a door on a 40 foot single door so this is sort of the back of the container so I'm gonna open this door and show you what was going on. And this does have the easy open handle. Okay. So basically, this bottom part of the frame was rubbing the bottom of these doors so hard you could not open the door. So our fix today, we were messing around with this for quite a while, uh, but we heated this plate up it looks like at the factory they welded this like in a bind upward because uh, we were measuring it compared to other containers and it was uh, humped up in the middle a little bit. So our fix was to heat this up and then push down on it with the loader because uh, I just I didn't want to cut seals and kind of jerry rig stuff. So we heat it up, push down on the loader, and then we ground the edge of this. And this is really thick. It's like uh, about an inch thick, uh, this plate here. So we finally got the door to shut. But... Even with new containers, it's not fait accompli or a fact, matter of fact that everything is going to work properly. So we, this is why we always like to get, get the containers here, inspect them, test the door operation prior to delivery. But if you're buying a container and a company actually did not scam you and delivered this container like they're supposed to, and this door did not operate well and you sent them a picture of this door, there's no way they would have refunded your money or swapped the container out because the bottom of these doors had a consistent gap. The sides were not banged up. So everything was correct on the door. It's just this bottom of the door frame was humped up. So we ground all this down, pushed it down, heated it up. It was a lot of work, but the door actually closes now. So just another precautionary tale of what you can deal with on any individual container. And this is why we really promote uh, inspection prior to purchase. So uh, like and share. And as always, thanks for watching.